Vi er velkomin á keppnina af sterkasta kona Íslands. Vi er mér stött á svæði Bílar plus Akurar. Það eru nýju keppendur í dag sem keppa bæði í opnum flokki og þar sem að síðan eru undir 82 kg munu keppa þar í fyrir léttari titil, sterkasta kona Íslands undir 82. Vi erum komin á annan áratug sem þetta mótir haldið og í ári erum með bæði fyrirhandi meistara og margar nýjar stelpur að keppa. Það verður keppt í fimm greinum, mjög klassískum alvörunargreinum, drumbaliftu, réstuðuliftu, framecarry eins og þeir kallaðu það ennsku sem er útfæsla af þeirni velþektu bændagöngu og steinalhleðslu sem er mjög al íslensk og vel iðku hérna fyrir norðan. The first event of the day is log lift and the first lifter is Lily. This is her first competition and she is going for 50 kilos. It's easy up to chest. Looking for your balance. And a light weight. That's the signal and it's a good lift. Next up is Snifreeder. This is also her first competition. She's going for 55. Very easy clean. And, yep, she gets a down signal from the referee, and it's a good lift as well. We're getting the same weight for uh, Margaret. Margaret has competed a few times over the years, and decided to show up with very little notice. She has a very easy, easy clean, a little off on the, on the push. She still has time, they have a, a 60 second time limit to get it up. She's using her time, catching her breath a bit. And she goes for it again. This is seventh competition. Yep, that was much easier and it's a good lift as well. 60 kilos is the next weight, that's Hulda. Again, this is Hulda's first competition as well, a lot of newcomers this year. She's deep down in an each clean. You see, uses a split jerk. Looks very well. Gets the down signal and it's a good lift as well. Then it's Lilia. Lilia has been around longer than any of these girls. She is Iceland's strongest woman since 2019 in the lighter weight class. Easy clean. And she goes for a bit uneven press. She has a shoulder issue on the right shoulder and she gets a, a thumbs up from the ref. And we have Hugrun. Hugrun has some background in CrossFit, but this is her first strongman, strong woman competition. Let's see how she fares off. Yep, easy up to the chest. Looking for a better footing. And, yep, didn't quite catch it at lockout, but manages to lock it out anyway. And it's a good lift. She was lifting 65 kilos there. Up next is Vegatis, going for 72.5. That would be the biggest log press of the day in the lighter category. Vega trains in both Yakabol and Forced Gym. A bit uneven clean, but still look pretty confident. What does he do? Not quite. Still has time, still has little chest. And an amazing walkout. She really had to push it, but she finished it off. And a good lift from the referee. And the lock seems to be leaving the place. Next up is Raka. Raka is Iceland's strongest woman since uh, 2018. She's competed for a few years, very strong. Uh, up to the chest pretty easily. And she hits it directly to walkout, gets the signal. She's lifting 80 kilos there, it looked very easy. She has held 
for time the log lift record but here is the current record holder Ellen she was Iceland's strongest woman last year 2019 she's competed for a shorter period of time than Raka but they are training partners and they go toe to toe but very often with the same weights and it's an easy, easy looking press very impressive so both Raka and Ellen are going for the national record, Raka goes first, going for uh, 93 kilos. The current record is Ellen's with 92.5, but at the same competition, Force Power Challenge back in 2019, Raka pressed the same weight. But since Ellen went first at that competition, the record is hers. But today we got them to go for the separate weights if Raka hit the record in her attempt. So let's see what happens. First up, like I said, is Raka with 93 kilos and a new Icelandic record, if it goes well. She's getting ready, she's getting psyched up. She was pretty confident this was something she could do. But like we all know, it's not always about if it's possible, you have to go and perform. So Raka sets up, easy off the floor. Fairly good, very good, actually, clean. Now for the hard part, amazing lift. A little bit of a point where she got slowed down, but then a massive lockout. A good lift from the referee and a new national record. That means Ellen will be going for 93.5. All things here are camar camaraderie, so like you see, they support each other. Alan gets ready. Is she going to let Raka take away her record, or is she going to take it back? Like you can see, it was a very sunny day. We're not rushing Ellen, and she's taking her time, because uh, as they get fewer and fewer competitors left in the mix, the resting time gets shorter and shorter, and when you're going for a national record, you're going to need that time to get ready. Ellen is more than capable of this weight, it's just a matter of if this is the day she hits it, or if she's going to have to wait another day. An easy pick up. A little difficult for the last part of the clean, but she can't manage to find the sweet spot. She still has time. The spotters are gonna move. We will walk into better position for her. It's always difficult to clean uh, a big weight like that more than once, but it's never impossible. So let's see what happens. Again, very easy on the lot. There we go. Much better clean. What happens next? Just trying to find the balance for it, but no. Probably the lack of oxygen right there. With it, it's difficult to breathe with that weight on her chest. Uh, after first went, uh, Raka is leading. In second place is Ellen. Third place Vega. Then we have Hugrun, and in fifth to sixth sharing is Lilia and Hulta. Since we run the open class and the 82 kilo class side by side, it is done in a way that we feel fits everybody. So everybody are doing the same weights, but we keep two different uh, score sheets. So the lighter girls are also part of the open class. That way they don't have to choose which category to compete in. In the minus 82.5 kilo class, we have Vega leading uh, Hulta in second place, Hugrun and Lilia sharing third to fourth, and uh, Lilia in fifth. En stelpur, þetta var spennandi, því hefur nú verið svolítið samstíga í þingdavæli hinga til, en, en nú var smá keppni úr. Hvernig fannst þér þetta ganga? Þetta bara gekk rosalega vel. Uh, svona svipað að ég var búin að gera mig vonur um. Gekk þetta vel og átti von á miða við æfingar? Já, ég var búin að fara í 90 kilo á æfingu og svo var bara svona eftir aðstæðum hvort ég myndi fara herða það. En Ellen, það tókst ekki í dag að, að ná þessu afinu aftur. Er það ekki þá plönunum fljóttlega? Jú, að sjálfsögðu. Það þarf einhver að halda í þennan svo hún... Svo maður slæk ekki á, sko. Það er gott að hafa svona keppinu sem er nálægt sér. En þið æfi líka saman í það ekki? Jú.
Þannig að það kemur sér vel, það kemur mótstaða að geta bæði ítt við hvor annar í þar og á æfingum. Já, það ekki. En til hamingju báðum við frábæran árgur og til hamingju með Íslandsmettið raka. Drupulegt að búin, næst er restulefta. Við ætlum að fara í 165 kg fyrst á endutetningar. Svo við verum léttnir í 125 kg. Það sem fari í 165 og klikka á því geta fari í 125 kg eftir á. En 165 kg, eitt rep með því, trompar faktisk síð allt öllu rep með 125 kg. Restu við lyfta næst. Fyrst af þessu Lilli, she has to go along because there are an odd number of competitors. She's going for the heavier weight and it's a huge pull, it's slow, it's steady and an amazing lift. She's not going for another one, but this was a huge PR for her in weight, so fantastic job. Very nice lift. Next up is Vegadis on the left and Lilia on the right. Lilia is the current minus 82 champion. Vega is currently leading the lighter category. Lilia is quicker on the first rep. But both of them make it look easy. Lily has two already. Vega goes for her second. Yeah, it's moving pretty smooth. Lily has three already. Still moving pretty well for Vega as well. Slightly slowing down for Lily. But they have plenty of time. Yeah. Lily closes out the fifth. But Vega these loses her balance. And drops down. The boys help her out getting the, the, the bar back in place. Lilia keeps pulling out another rep. Vega has lost a bit of time and energy, but she's putting going for the next one. Yep, she still has some left in her. And Lilia goes for a fight. What a lot of lift. I think it was her seventh as she gets the down signal. Vega is still going. Oh, she's done. That balance mistake took a lot of energy out of her. And they finish with four reps for Vega and seven for Lilia. Now we have uh, Raka and Ellen, the 2018 and the 2019 champions. Making it look pretty easy, both of them. Yep, they keep going, lift after lift. Raka is pulling up front, going a bit faster, already has more reps in her. Vega is not done though. Enough time left. Right, Alan drops it and she's out, I think. What, what's she gonna do? The spotter is putting the bar back in place, barbell. Raka locks up the next one. Raka has stopped. Ellen walks away. Raka stops when she has to lead with eight lifts. Ellen finished four lifts as well as Vega did. Now we have Margaret on the left and Snaifrieder on the right. They are going for the lighter weight of 125 kilos. Both of them looking pretty good in the start. Market is a bit faster. She has a bit of more experience, obviously. It's, but Snyfri is doing her first competition. As you can notice, Market as well is not using any straps. Sniper keeps running away. Marker tries to get in a few more. It's pretty even with them. And Marker takes a little break. Sniper keeps going. Oh, yep. Very competitive with them too. 
They are using their time limit very well. Taking a little rest in between sometimes. Not giving in until it's fully over. And ah, Nightly got a bit unlucky there. That would have been her tenth. But they both finish with nine. Very well done. So the last two competitors are Hulun on the left and Hilta on the right, also going for the lighter weight. Hulun off to a good start, she has a good uh, background in uh, CrossFit. This was one lift, I don't, don't think she got counted to. She didn't wait for the signal on the bottom. There's nothing slowing down with them, they just keep going and going. This can be very hard for referee to not to not hesitate and keep it flowing, but still keep all the rules intact. A little bit slower with Hulun, but she is hardly taking a breath. Same with Hulta, she keeps going a bit slowing down, but the lift itself looks good. Take a bit of a breather. Yep, Hulun gets this one. Nope, there was a no lift. She was just uh, half a second before the referee. Yep. There's the both of them got that one. Ten more seconds. Yep, Hulta finishes. And does it get it? And uh, yeah, that was an amazing show. 14 reps for Hulta, 11 for Hulun. That was extremely well done. Uh, Hulun got unlucky, got I think at least a couple of lifts taken away from her for not waiting for the signals. But like we said before, this is her and Hulta's first competition. After two events, Raka is leading the competition with 18 points. Ellen is behind her with 14.5, after her is Vega with 13.5, and the fourth was Lilia with 12.5. In the lighter category, Vega is leading with 9, Lilia runner-up with 8, and Hulda with 6. This was a very good lift, a lot of lift in the rest of the lift today. Lilia, you have to go to the lift, and now you can see it. Yes, I'm 15 kg. Frábert, you look very happy with her. Hulda, þú fórst svo í léttar þingdina en náðir alveg 14 liftum. Hvernig leiðir eftir, eftir svo leiðis magna af, af liftum? Ég bara, þetta var eins og kardíó, sko. Maður var alveg, þurfti að ná andanum, sko. Ætla þá reyna að vera tilbúin í þingrilifturinn á næsta ári? Klárlega, já. Þetta var virkilega flott hjá okkur. Vona að gangi áfram vel. Takk, takk fyrir það. Our head referee this year is Kristján Sindri Nielsson. He is one of the best Icelandic strongmen today and has been competing internationally for a couple of years. And with him refereeing is Ingibjörg Oladóttir. Ingibjörg was Icelandic strongest woman in 2016 and she also has a very good record in powerlifting. Restaðan var að klárast. Nú er komið að grindaburði þar sem keppendur munu bera grind sem vegur 150 kilo. Byrjaður á því, þeir sem klára það, alla vegalendina 20 metra hérna, fara í þyngri grindaburð, 180 kilo. Þar, ef keppendur klára ekki, þá er malt á vegalend, lengsta vegalend vinnur og besti tími sem klárar sigrar grindaburður. Since everybody finished the lighter weight, uh, it's not going to make any difference in the outcome, so we're not going to waste any time on that, but let's go straight to the heavier one. Up first is Snæfriður. She makes the pickup, very safe steps, very small steps, trying to pick up some speed. This is slightly uphill to make it even harder. There we see the finish line, she's on a good run, but her legs are getting exhausted. Let's not forget she's already done log lift for max and deadlift for reps, and she did quite a few reps. Managed to pick it up but doesn't quite have the energy and the thighs to walk with it. She still has some time left, but she doesn't have energy for another pickup. With these big weights, it's very difficult to pick it up more than once. Then we have Margaret. 
Market makes a pretty good start, but loses the balance a little bit. Her experience probably helps her to get the steps flowing a bit, but her second pickup is also good. Good speed. Just a matter of how far she can take it. Takes a little break. Every meter can count in this. So she goes a little bit further. Now it's a matter of time versus how far is left. And she finishes. Very well done. Market finishes in 38.05 seconds. Sniper that went for 14.61 meters. Then we have Hugrun. And that's a very good pickup. Straight for the walk. The balance is off. But she's fighting. This is a tremendous fight with 180 kilos. But she just keeps going. She refuses to give up. And she makes the whole way without dropping it. What a fight! 15.96 seconds. This is unbelievable. Now we have Hulta. Straight for the first stop. Pretty decent speed. She keeps going. This is looking pretty good. Now the balance gets more difficult when she gets tired. How far will she fight? And she managed to finish as well in 16.42, half a second behind Hurun. Now we have Lily, the smallest and lightest contestant. She made one of the fastest tricks with the lighter weight, but had a pretty good fall just before she went over, so I had to pick it up again. This is amazing. She goes for the second pickup. It's getting more difficult. The strap seems to be betraying her a little bit. But the third pickup seems to be pretty heavy. No, she makes another pickup, goes a bit further. That's a very good fight. Each pickup with these weights does take a lot out of you. But it isn't a, it isn't a low pickup though, but still, this is a big weight. 180 kilos, if I remember correctly, she's under 70 kilos herself, so it's it's close to three times body weight. She's using her whole, every second of her time she's using to fight for another centimeter. The time is up, she's not happy with it, but I think she did fantastically, she's finished 17.7 meters. Now we have Vega, Vega is in a big fight for the third place in the overall category and for the win in the lighter category. Very easy pickup, goes carefully on the first couple of steps, builds up more speed, but you can see it's a hard, difficult balance. But she keeps good speed the whole way, this is a very good time, and yep, she beats Hurun with a point six seconds 15.38 then we have ellen like we said before ellen is here defending her last year's title amazing speed look at that slight balance problems but nothing that stopped her or slowed her down she finishes the course in 10.35 seconds this is a 20 meter course by the way Lilia here, the one with the longest track record of competing in the Iceland Strongest Women. Good start, good, very good start. Straight to speed, small steps. I don't think she's quite as fast as Ellen, but this is looking very promising. And Lilia is in second place right now with 10 seconds, 92. So she's half a second behind Ellen, and the only one left is Raka. Raka is quite confident, with no straps, and this is 180 kilos, people. So that's a gutsy move. And up and straight to the first step. Very fast, very good start. Manages to fix the balance problems in the start, and that looked fast. But she is between Ellen and Lilia. She came, comes in second with 
10.61 seconds. So after three events, Braca is leading with 26 points. After her is Ellen with 23.5. Tied in first place is Lilia and Vega with 19.5 points. Then Hurun with 14, Hulta with 12.5, Willy with 8. And then we look at the lighter category. There we have Vega with half a point more with 13 points, Lilia with 12.5. Hulta with 8, Hurun with 6.5 and Lily with 5 points. So the competition is very fierce in both the open category and in the lightweights. Það er hörku keppni greinlega í léttara flóknum. Það er ekki nema hálft stíl sem aðskilur ykkur til þrjár greinar. Veiga að þetta er svona átti vona fyrir daginn. Nei, ég get ekki sagt að Lilja búin að vera í þessu elli og ár og ég er bara nýli, búin að vera að æfði eitt ár. En þetta er auðvitað ótrúlega gaman og ég held bara áfram að gera mitt besta í þessum tömu greinum sem er eftir og sé hvernig það fer. Við stöðlum það, þetta er búin að standa þér frábærlega fram að þessu. Lilja, þú er náttúrulega að eiga við smá axlameðsli en ekkert samt hét alltaf að berjast um titilinn og unnið hann oftast þó að þú kannski fór í aðeins meiri samkeppni í árin áður. Hvernig líður fyrir sennstu tærgjöndar? Tími er tekin þegar keppjöndur hafa komið pokanum alla leið yfir og þá tekin mikið tími á hverjum poka fyrir sig. Við stöðlum það hjá okkur. Ekki verður tekin vegalengd á pokum sem að fara ekki all